Make I laugh before I give on the gist for today because it is very, very laughable. Every day, our judiciary, they, they make mockery of themselves. Because you can see one particular case now. Where they similar to another case. But the verdict, it did different. Judgment, it did different. Make I prove my point to owner. Inside Kano State, all of them go down here. See, the election uh, uh, tribunal, uh, the governorship election tribunal inside that state, they don't sack the governor of that state. Too. Will be the NMPP candidate in the last election where he named now Yusuf Abba. Now Yusuf Abba, now in your screen. They don't sack up. They say, Oga, nobody you win that governorship election. Why? Because they discovered that 165,000 plus ballot papers credited to Yusuf Abba of the NNPP say they no stamp up, they no sign up. So therefore, those ballot papers or those votes are invalid. They have to deduct it from his votes. Wherein his closest rival will be the APC man where in them now. Nazri Yusuf uh, Yusuf Gawonya, you get as I name the son, and I name that nine day screen. We come make this man and they say, and hey, I win the election. Where the judge will handle that case, come mandate I neck to withdraw that certificate of return where they give Abba Yusuf. But they can give Nazri Yusuf Gawonya. The judgment is sweet, I be no sweet. Uh, we will not know what happened, but now the, the, the reason for their verdict, nine be this. Mbano, make we carry ourselves now enter the presidential election tribunal judgment. Those people where they there, eh, that justice, Samani and the people, they said the petitioners are the petitioners. Petitioners did not prove their case that, eh, did not prove their case inside the court. You understand? Eh, see, the election was mild, or there was irregularities, or they won the election, or there was overvoting. And these same petitioners, what did they talk about? One of them will be the candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi. Him liars carry resource sheets coming from 18,088 polling units. I don't see ballot paper, will be 18,088 ballot paper. I say resource sheet from 18,088 polling units. Going by this number, the votes captured as we are told is 3 million plus. The votes captured in this 18,088 polling unit is 3 million plus. When you look at the verdict, um, I mean, when you look at the scores, where each of them, uh, Atiko, uh, Tinobu, and Pito, be got in the last election, you can see say, the margin, you understand? He no reached 3 million. No. The one where uh, Tinobu used gap Atiko. In all is three million. The one way article use gap obi in all is three million. Gonna they hear me? The person they give gap where where na quantum of the NMPP. Let me make you understand this better. The results when they carry enter courts, that's results from eighteen thousand and eighty eight polling units. They were blood. Nobody feeling anything. Pictures of human beings, pictures of animals, pictures of houses. Now them. Make up that result inside the eight M inside the eighteen thousand and eight eight polling units. Now that same court see, you the petitioners did not prove their case. Person carry this result she's come meet you. They even brought in the INEC people inside court say, "We can help us read this result." INEC couldn't read the result, and this was the same result they used in computing. Whatever they computed and declared Bola Ahmed to be the president of, Ni um, of Nigeria. Oh, oh, now they get it. Uh, these are two similar scenarios. What happened inside Kano State? The judge there gave his verdict. If you look at where, you can say, eh, nine be this. The other one happened inside presidential election. The judge there say they don't prove their case. Where do you want made the proof with these results? Where they don't show you a side cut. See, they are blood, pictures of human beings, pictures of animals. Capturing over 3 million votes that can make a difference. On no reason, on no see the reason why on a few call for um, a rerun. On no see that reason. You understand? When I say they did not prove their case that they won. 
These are two different cases. Ona they see them. What will happen for inside Kano? They detox. Inside this one, when I feel that say, eh, eh, this one, this 18,000, it's eight police units. Is that where they come from? They are, eh, it is not ascribed to anybody. Eh, we know it's not ascribed to anybody. But the votes where they inside, three million plus, he passed the margin where the three front runners use past themselves. What does that tell you? It can make a difference. When I don't understand what I talk now. I know what we stand. I won't carry on now. We could hear from the council, uh, the lawyer representing the APC people inside Kano State. We have them with that case now. We said the Lord declare say, eh, now in clients, we be Nasri Yusuf Mangawunye, eh, say na him win that election. I won't make listen so that when I go hear directly from the man, me no be like say, eh, I go read that somewhere, come carry, come na kana on, whether not true or not be true. Hear from the lawyer himself. Why not? Help me watch this video. When we have filed this petition, we have clearly showed that uh, the declaration by the then uh, the uh, um, returning officer, the declaration by the returning officer was wrongly made. We 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 filed this petition to show that, and clearly we have demonstrated it by bringing in invalid ballot papers, 165,000 of the ballot papers, and the court went through these ballot papers one after the other and confirmed that these ballot papers were not signed, stamped and dated. And the law says it shall be signed, stamped and dated. Uh, you don't watch it, baby. You see what's in the top there. Nice one. Perfect. Clean. Good. Uh, of course, the governor is allowed to go to appeal and from appeal to Supreme Court by law or at the end. So we will hear the rest of the case there. But on another hear from the horse's mouth. Now, again, waiting again, I won't talk on top of this matter. Very sweet. But before I tell you that, that is an eye opener. Before I give you that eye opener, I beg. We could go on this short break. We will come back. I go nakana you this eye opener. Well, let's go on this break. For over a decade, this has been the birthplace of innovation. Innocin Vehicles is a testament to resilience, employing international best practices to create more than just a car. Every vehicle here tells a story of durability, fuel economy and safety. Crafted with the African spirit, the Nigerian heart. These vehicles surrounding me embody the unique concept of regionalization, each one designed to cater to the tastes and preferences of our people. From the streets in Nigeria to the terrains of the Sahara, these vehicles are designed for our roads, for our people. This is more than a vehicle. It's a symbol of our progress, our resilience, our collective success story. Your feedback drives us to continuously innovate and improve. Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads. Welcome back. Now, what do we have to say in this case? How did those ballot sheets 165,000 plus. How did they how, how did the ballot sheet make their way uh, into uh, uh, the results? You understand? How did they fly enter the results? Where they use declare uh, Abba Yusuf say and I didn't win that governorship uh, election inside Kano State. This is now one question we were supposed to ask. Because if we are not asking these questions, our elections will never be perfect. The person will perpetrate this thing. So a stamp don't finish. Signature don't finish. You not get a next stamp. You not get signature. This goes a long way to tell you that you not go become members who run this thing. Because if Lako members run them, you know say so they use them as ad hoc staff. If Lako members run this thing, they go sign, they go stamp. Hi, they go give them money, they go go. But people waiting this thing, they are not ad hoc staff. Where they from come? Nobody know. How they take get this ballot sheet? I mean, this is nobody know. Because after election, the ad hoc staff, they go carry all the materials, go back to INEC, Abi. Uh -huh. Now INEC will now complete the rest of uh, the, the, the job. Oh, 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 the uh -huh. So INEC where they in charge of this 165,000 plus ballot sheets. You understand? Inside Kano State. How did this ballot sheet end up in your collision? Can you people come out and tell everybody? Now, can you people also tell us which local government 
the, this 165,000 plus balance sheet emanate from which local government did he come from? Then, if you tell us the local government where he come from, the people who handle the election inside that local government can they be brought to book? Can they be brought to book? Can we make a law in this country that will punish any INEC staff or ad hoc staff that is found wanting in this kind of crime? Because nobody is talking about people who run the matana. They are not talking about the governors. I mean, the governor, the, the candidates. Yes. Nobody is talking about how did this shit make it to the coalition. Nobody is asking that question. And that is a very vital question to ask. We need to ask this question. Who are those involved? As court don't give their verdict, can the court also punish those that are responsible for bringing in these ballot sheets that we are never signed or stamped, that we are invalid? Can they please? Who are those responsible? How did this ballot sheet make it to the coalition? These are the questions that we should be asking. But we are not asking it though. Nobody is asking that question. Are you getting my point? There should be punishments for people that find themselves or indulge themselves in this kind of crime. Now, INEC committed this crime. Bro. He no pass INEC. Now, them. And when I say INEC, nobody is ad hoc because ad hoc, they are giving all the materials to do their own. Now, the INEC, God, God, they don't know where to enter their head inside their office, whether the stamp don't finish or whatever don't finish. They don't do their job well. Now, them run this matter. Is there any punishment for them? No. Waiting court, no, Nana say, eh, withdraw certificate of return, give it to Yusuf Abba, give it to, eh, eh, what be that name? Nazare Yusuf Gawunya. That is all. People that committed the crime, where are they? No punishment for them. It's all right. We have headed to the Supreme Court, uh, the petitioners in the presidential election. They have headed to the Supreme Court. Let us see the interpretation the Supreme Court will give. And then we will still bury this leaf. We will still compare it with what happened inside Kano State. And then we will know if our judiciary, there is a standard or there is no standard. Because as it stands, there is no standard. Make no lie. Ona de I go say Ona later.